welcome back to my channel for another video now on echocardiographic evaluation of aortic regurgitation though aortic regurgitation can be evaluated well in the very first view which is obtained in adult echocardiography usually the parasternal long axis view multiple views are desirable because an eccentric jet of aortic regurgitation may not be seen to the full extent in a single view. That's why we need multiple views for evaluation of aortic regurgitation. This image shows evaluation of aortic regurgitation from the apical five chamber view. This is the aorta, left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricle, right atrium. So this is known as the five chamber view. Iota is also taken as one chamber. And uh, this is uh, the regurgitant jet into the left ventricle. You can see that the aortic valve is in closed position. And the CW cursor has been placed here, going through the jet. And you will get the, this is the forward velocity. And uh, this is the reverse flow. Iotic regurgitation jet in diastole. This is systolic. Before going to other views in aortic regurgitation, I would like to show this image, which is less often used, so it's worth learning. This is the suprasternal view. You are looking for the descending aortic flow reversal in aortic regurgitation. In severe aortic regurgitation, there will be significant flow reversal in descending aorta. Usually you expect forward flow in descending aorta. This is flow reversal. And uh, the cursor is placed just beyond the left subclavian artery. And this is the suprasternal view. And this is the tracing which you obtained. This is the forward flow in the aorta. And this is the reverse flow. And in the reverse flow, you can take the end diastolic velocity and diastolic velocity can be measured at the peak of the R wave, which corresponds to the end of diastole. Here we do not have the ECG, but if you have the ECG, you can correctly time the end diastolic timing. And end diastolic velocity more than 20 cm per second is one indicator of severe aortic regurgitation. Another indicator is that you can trace it out. You can trace out the velocity map and then you will get the velocity time integral or VTI. VTI more than 15 centimeter is also significant. Echocardic